Co Coach, I saw that you and Purdue, I think you're allowing the opposition like eight offensive rebounds a game, which isn't many. When you go in to face a team like this, how important are those second second chance opportunities? Well, there's no doubt that anytime you can get deflections and steals and second point shots, and, um, even team rebounds, it's always good to get as many possessions as you possibly can. Uh, but there are just so many issues this time of year that we all are working on. I'm sure Purdue's working on things that they are their shortcomings and so are we. You know, if I wish rebounding was the only real issue. You know, we got execution issues. We got uh, some five new guys we're trying to work into a, a system that uh, uh, where we need the quality of our depth to be comfortable and consistent and, and, and on point. And we are ways away from that. Defense lacks a little bit of desire. Uh, yeah, LSU shot 50% for us, and so did uh, uh, Villanova. Uh, offensively, I just still feel like we're still struggling to, to get on point from an execution standpoint. And we're just fortunate to be where we are, and that's the good thing about our team. We have such room for growth uh, while we're still developing, and, and, and we still are playing pretty decent basketball, but not anywhere close to where we should be. Coach, with that though, I mean, the bench played really well, and I know you talked about the bench. I mean, 33 to 60 against Nova, well, we're, we're from your reserves. I mean, that's something that you've always preached, I mean, having a deep team. I mean, were you impressed with the way they came out this weekend, too? I, I, I feel that uh, our rotation guys are contributing. Uh, but when you go back and watch the films, you see a lot of challenges that we still are going through uh, before we can start feeling comfortable. Normally, most teams in the ACC play uh, not such a challenging schedule early where you get guys an opportunity to, to play major minutes, uh, maybe against lesser opponents, and they're able to gain some confidence as a result of, of the playing time that they get, they're get they getting. But in our case, we haven't had any uh, tune-up games. Uh, we've gone jump right out of the frying pan and right into the fire. Uh, even our Tulane game, their first game, they were they were on point there, and they challenged. Which I, I, I really hope that we'll look back and say that these guys have given us good competition early and accelerated our progress. You know, going along with that, I mean, Purdue going to be a, another challenge. I mean, how how beneficial will this be down the road playing this tough slate so well, early? You never really know, but we're hoping that the, the challenging schedule is going to. Um, mm -hmm produce dividends for us later on in the year that maybe we can have a better understanding of what it's like to play against this level of competition and uh, hopefully, because this really has caused our rotation guys, I mean, they're important in our system, you know, to, to learn more, be more on point and understand that their, their role is, is paramount to the success of our, our team. Talk about there, there's so much room for you guys to grow. Is that something that you just feel comfortable organically allowing to happen, or are there certain things you want to push and try to? I'm really concerned about uh, our shortcomings now, our defensive shortcomings, our offensive executions. Uh, you know, just little things that I know that, that we're gonna have to be efficient area, efficient in, uh, so that we can be prepared once we get into the ACC tournament. I mean, ACC regular season race. Is that just due to youth? I mean, it's a little bit of everything. I think it's just inexperience. Uh, I think that it's uh, uh, confidence. Uh, I think some of it's just uh, uh, guys understanding exactly the level of energy you have to use to play at this level, the, the consistency of your focus. Uh, that That's very, very important. I don't think we're asking them anything physical that they can't do. I just think that though the, the missing piece is how well you can give back what is required of you and hold yourself accountable consistently, you know, for the, all the minutes where you're on the court where you don't have any slippage, and that's basically almost impossible. Any update on Phil Kofler? No, not at this point. Okay.